Hi guys. Well, it's turned into a rather cloudy, gloomy day here in the end times. Here in the paradise of Inglis, Florida. And we're going to do a quick video of the difference between planet nibbling and planet eating. So, uh, this is the lot that I have been working on for the past two weeks with the brand new for sale sign. One full acre, high and dry, $32,000. Okay. This lot of mine was planet nibbled. So what my buddies and I, this is a full one acre lot. And uh, this was done, let's see, with a 16 inch chainsaw and a four inch brush cutting blade. So we have come in here, busted our ass, 16 inch chainsaw and a four inch blade where you can very carefully work in between all of the uh, between all of the trees come in and go right up to trees and uh, without hurting the tree without banging into it with a bulldozer to pull the vines down and whatnot and uh, so this is the end result of planet nibbling. You have, you end up with a lot that looks like this. Like a beautiful wooded lot. So, uh, it has been some work. But we have planted, nibbled, and nibbled, and nibbled. And then, now the other thing is all of this, within one year, pretty much everything we've taken out, it could grow back uh, and become the jungle that it was before we started. That's looking backwards. Uh, it's like I already have someone reading my sign and then it comes out here at the end now I was going to plant it nibble out this row of planted pine trees to uh, to open up uh, that beautiful big granddaddy oak and whatnot. So that's up to the new buyer. And so then this was just, you know, waist high thorn bushes out here looking out over the, uh, this is an 1100 acre ranch out here. So that's what the lot, the planet nibbled lot looks like looking back into it is, uh, looks like that. So now we're going to go next door. We're going to go next door. And we're going to learn what planted eating looks like. So this took, you know, three guys two weeks. Not even working eight-hour days. Mostly four to five-hour days. Two or three guys working four to five hours for two weeks. Planet nibbling. And then we get to look at what the vast majority of people do. And that's to bring a 12 foot wide blade on the end of a giant bulldozer and uh, 
this is what it looks like. This was done in February. They, uh, these clueless fucking morons, they brought in this giant machine in February. They left the row of these ugly ass pines and knocked down the oak trees. And there you go. They left up the pines. All of these oak trees were in the way. They came through here with a bulldozer and destroyed every square inch. Amazingly, they managed not to hit the one big beautiful tree on this lot. This was the lot I was supposed to own. Uh, so, they ran the blade in and just knocked down everything in the path. So, of course, this tree this beautiful oak tree was in the way of the bulldozer. So, uh, this is what happens when a tree gets in the way of a bulldozer. Ah, oh, fuck. So, I guess they're having a circular drive. So this probably took a bulldozer, I'm guessing, one day to come in here and just wreak absolute destruction. And then, of course, what the bulldozer did not hit looks like that, which is what my light looked like. But anyway, the planet nibbling is done, and I'm getting ready to take a, my video as soon as I can figure out how to make the little sharper focus. Uh, all right, I'm out to make some money being a doomsday property flipper in Florida while I still can. Bye guys.